some Google, turn best day, whatever you are, asexuality, whatever. I don't want to offend anybody if I forget anybody. Um, hey guys, what up? Um, you know, I've been watching some stuff about hatchet man charms and shit. Well, people, how they, how long they've been down, how they got down. Now, I'm gonna tell you, uh, three, st two to three stories. First one, how I got down with the club. After I put it, hold on. Uh, mean? The way I got down with the clown, um, uh, I was about five, four to five, six years old, around that age, uh, you know, where you had to share a room with your siblings and shit. My brother and sister used to burn by ACP. They don't anymore, they drop the hatch or whatever. Um, and I would flip flop and back and forth between who I'd what room I would sleep with, whether it would be I would sleep in the same room as my sister or the same room as I sleep with my brother. Um, pretty much, they would bump it because my sister's boyfriend at the time was into it and they got, that's how they got into it, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then my parents didn't like it. it big surprise, right? So pretty much, they made, they stopped listening to it because mom and dad wanted them to stop. I have four to have it for four to five years, I'm ten years old, ten, twelve years old, yeah, ten, twelve years old, I can't exactly recall, yeah, ten, ten years old, I got, there was that one song that stuck in my head, and it was, I found out later it was Suicide Hotline, but I didn't know it was Suicide Hotline, I called it the Operator song, um, my cousin helped me find it, and that's how my journey of music began, how once I started listening to that, I would listen to more, because I'm like, this is good, let's see what else they have, you know, I would bump it, get into it, that's how I got into Twisted, you know, all the other underground world, realm, whatever, and I have uh, been a juggalo since, I represent my hatchet with pride. Now the story of how I got my hatchet man. This is not my first hatchet man charm actually. It's my second. First hatchet man charm. Um, I was in eighth No, I was in seventh grade. Seventh grade. Uh, we had, had um, pretty much a North trip type shit to um, Malta, America, somewhere in Minnesota. Uh, you know, we drove a bus, blah, 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 blah. Um, pretty much, there was a store there named Spencer's. Me and my best friend, he's still my best friend to this day. Um, me and him bought the thing, um, Hatchman Charm. Of course, I was broke, mine broke, when I was playing football with my friend, with my other friend. And we searched the perimeter and couldn't find it. It's broke, I don't know how it's broke, and he lost his, I don't know the whole ordeal with that. Fast forward to this year, not this school year, but this 2015, um, pretty much, there was a store in Marshalltown, Marshall Ames, um, and I, there was a few juggalo shit, and there was this. Hatchet Man. Of course, it, it's running this way, but not this. I know this, not, this isn't, isn't the right way. So it's supposed to run this way, but you can tell the way it was made. It's supposed to be running this way for the way it was made. Does that make sense? Not until I bought it. Did it come with a chain? It came with one of the, with this. One of these type, the, the end of the, it's either, but pretty much, um, with the chain break, I kind of find a chain, so I just took that off and got one of those banty loopy thing, and put it on this, uh, and that's still been shut down for about a year, and so, so, so yeah, that's how I became a juggalo, that's how I got my first hatchet man charm, um, Shout out to um, Lisa Marie What Now. Shout out to Twisted Clown 2.0. Uh, 
and also the channel shout out to um Ponage shit like that peace